All right, then, Lloyd from LloydMasita.com and news LloydMasita.com. Today, the date is um, 22nd of July, 2014. It's 6 in the morning. I just woke up uh, and I couldn't get sleep. Anyway, I happen to get this email from a girl. Um, I, I don't know where she's from, but she has sent me this email. And I just want to read it. Uh, she says, hey, Lloyd, I'm a huge fan of yours. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, like, dude... You're my inspiration now. Now, the very fact that she is dude is evident that she's a young girl. Okay. Even I'm a failure. Okay. Um, well, it, it kind of sounded that you, uh, uh, you used to be ashamed of the fact that you're a failure. And now because you see someone who kind of shares may, more or less maybe the same timeline or the life that you share, so you kind of associate that as a matter of pride. So it's okay, good, whatever works for you. Uh, this year I failed in three subjects, maths, business, and geography, which is honestly speaking not good because education is important. But then if you're not interested in education, I suppose that is what it is and you need to find out what you're passionate about. Um, but having said that, it's not good to fail. You need to... Uh, find avenues where you can succeed. Okay. I really could not go through this trauma. I nearly cut my wrist because of this. Now that is not a solution. If you fail in something, that doesn't mean you start harming yourself. What do you achieve by harming yourself? What do you achieve by um, destroying your life? So it doesn't make any sense. Okay. I know, um, sorry, I know I am stupid, mad, and I'm a jerk for doing this. Um, technically, I would not say you're stupid, you're mad, and you're a jerk for doing this. I would just say that you're emotionally uh, immature, you're emotionally unstable, um, which is, I'm not saying it in a bad way, but I'm saying it in a way that you need to understand that you have issues that you need to deal with. And maybe your parents are not supportive or your parents have not educated you as to how you can face these traumas or uh, challenges in life. Okay. Uh, but then I saw your video on suicides and secrets to success. I backed off from discouraging myself. All right. I'm, I'm happy for you that you were able to look at it from a positive light and uh, you are able to come out of it. Okay. I personally asked my dad to talk to my principal and as they are good friends to give another chance. That's a smart approach that you approach your father, you approach your mother, you approach an elder, you approach somebody who could at least guide you. So that is good. I'm having a retest on those subjects I failed. Good. And uh, that's that's a good thing because you should not give up. And also another thing I recommend is surround yourself with friends who have achieved success in those avenues. Uh, get a tutor who can teach you. Have your parents sit down with you. And yes, obviously, avoid distractions like friends, avoid distractions like social media, um, TV. Focus on your studies. I'm sure you'll do well. Okay. I'm working very hard. That's good. And that's only because of your wake up video on a path to success. Great. I'm happy. At least something is working. Love you, man. You have completely changed me. Now, I need you to understand that watching one video doesn't change a person. It only changes a viewpoint. It kind of um, makes a person look at life in a different perspective, but it does not change a person completely. You're still the same. You still will have the same challenges. Remember this, your environment and the people around you do not change. So. It may look like uh, things are changing. It may give you a high, but try to understand that you have not changed. The reason I'm trying to caution you is because I need you to have a sense of being realistic and not being motivated, uh, motivated and being, you know, putting yourself on a high and then coming low. So you need to be very, very realistic. Okay. Now, secondly, I don't know if I'm an idiot enough. Now, if you actually look at this, you have... In these few lines, you have called yourself stupid, mad, jerk, and, um, you know, now you're calling yourself an idiot. So I think you have issues where you're putting yourself down. You have issues of self-worth, self-esteem, and um, you, you're insecure. Okay, I'm just making you aware of this because in the short while you have used these adjectives to describe yourself and all the adjectives are negative. Okay. So what do you say is, I don't know if I'm an idiot, but I'm in love, my friend. Okay, you're in love. Now, 
First and foremost, by reading these few lines, I was able to understand that you're emotionally not stable, not secure, and you're vulnerable. So now you are in love. Now that brings, you know, the alarm bells. It's, it's kind of risky. I'll tell you why. Okay. Now I'm 16 years old. Now at the age of 16, um, you need to understand that 16 may sound like you're mature, but from a vantage point of me being 37, 38 years old, I think you would agree with me that I've seen a little bit more of life than you have seen. Uh, you might just have one, I don't know how many relationships. I've had over 400 relationships. So obviously I know a little bit more than you. I've, I've been through almost three marriages. So I, I think I know a little bit more than you. So what I, what I'm trying to tell you from that vantage point, obviously you do not know as much as me. Uh, I'm not saying that I know everything, but yes, I do know more than you. I can tell you that without a doubt. And for a 16 year old, uh, emotions are running high. Your body's undergoing changes. You'll start, you know, physically you'll start uh, having uh, your breasts being enlarged. Uh, you'll start having pubic hair. You'll start having your periods. You'll start um, feeling different uh, hair in all the wrong places. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a time in your life where everything changes. Sexually, you'll start feeling more uh, active. So what I want you to understand is you are going through changes and you're being introduced to another phase of life. So obviously, uh, these emotions run high, they run wild. Okay, so you might feel you're in love, uh, but we'll address that. I'll, I'll, I'll come to that. Okay, and this is not a silly baby crush. I have really fallen deep. I have deeply fallen in love with him. Okay, I'm sure your feelings are very genuine. I'm sure that um, the intensity for which you feel for him are strong. There is no doubt. I'm not saying this is fake. I'm not saying this is made up. I'm not saying this is not real. This is very real. What you're feeling is very real. And I'm glad that you're aware of this. Okay. I saw your video on true love. I do love myself. Okay. That is good. I mean, I bloody kiss myself on the mirror saying I love you. Okay. But I feel, but I still feel I'm fat and pale. Okay. Uh, and that's why maybe he doesn't like me or we are best friends. Now I, I need, uh, this is what I want you to keep in mind. A person, if attraction happens, it just happens. All right. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. You can't force someone to like you or love you. So if he doesn't respond, if he doesn't reciprocate, that means he's not interested in you. You need to get this straight up up front. You need to understand this, that he is not interested in you. Uh, and by kissing yourself in the mirror every day, that doesn't mean you love yourself. One can be a narcissistic pig. Yeah, I'm not saying you, but they can keep looking at themselves in the mirror. They can, you know, there are some adults also who go through uh, operations to fix their chin, their nose, their lips, their cheeks, their breasts, their chest, the biceps, the shoulders. They go through all, they undergo plastic surgery for all this because they feel they love themselves. And that's not actually the case. So, uh, what I personally feel is you have this deep sense of attraction towards this guy, which is good. You really feel intensity towards him. That is really good. And uh, you're being realistic about it. That is good. However, you need to understand that you can control your feelings, but you can't control his. So if he doesn't like you, I need you to be mentally ready to accept the fact that he doesn't like you. He's not rejecting you, but he's maybe not interested. Okay. I really want advice and I'm confused. What do I focus on? Okay, my love life or my career life? Now, uh, first and foremost, where it considers love, I don't think you and him are going to get married now. You're 16, I don't think you can get married now. And if you get married, let's say, for example, you can get married. Are you both having a bank balance of, let's say, roughly 100,000 US dollars? Do you have that kind of money? Do you have a house? that you can call your own? Do you have a job that pays you a monthly salary? Do you have the educational expertise or the professional expertise that you can take care of yourself? Can you manage your expenses by yourself? If you can do all this, then I think you both should get married and I think you should start your new life without being a burden on anyone.
However, if you can't do all this, then I don't think you are in a um, you're in that stage of life where you need to focus on your love life. If your parents are paying your bills, absolutely, then it's a no, no. Then I don't think you should focus on your love life because you're doing that on the expense of someone else. Now, your parents are paying, your uh, parents are taking care of you, your expenses, your education, so that you can stand on your two feet and you can start your life. I know this doesn't sound very romantic, but this is the fact of the, the reason why you're going to school is not to fall in love. The uh, reason you're going to school is not to get boyfriends. The reason you're going to school is one simple thing that you need to educate yourself. You need to start your career. Now, if you're not earning, if you're not able to look after yourself, if he's not earning, not able to look after himself, then asking the question, do I focus on my love life is slightly foolish at this point. I think you need to focus on your career because this, this feeling of love uh, changes. Now, for instance, when I was... Uh, when I was 16, I'm sure I, I liked a couple of girls, uh, but that changed when I was 17, that changed when I was 18, that changed when I was 19. Today, when I'm 38, the types of women that I like or date, believe me, uh, I would never date someone. Uh, I would never date any of the girls I would date when I was young because they're not my type. I've grown, I've changed. Today, I know what I want, I don't want. So. Let's say you were six years old, you liked a particular chocolate, you liked watching cartoons, you like playing with Barbie dolls, or you like doing, you know, wearing certain kinds of clothes. So at six years, there was a particular you. At 16, that changed. I don't think you wear the same clothes that you wear when you're 16. I don't think you eat the same food that you eat when you're 16. I don't think you watch the same cartoons or the same programs or the same chocolates. You, you, you changed. So people change. So when you become 26, I don't think you'll fit into the clothes that you're wearing now. The same friends, everything changes. It does change. You can't make out because you don't know. I know because I've been through those stages. So obviously when I was 6, 16, 26, 36, it changed. Okay. So the person that you see today with tattoos and all that, this changed. This didn't happen. So uh, at the moment, I thought you should be the best guy to share my confusion. So my advice to you is very simple. I think first and foremost, what you need to do is uh, get to know yourself, give yourself time and space because you still need to know yourself, you need to understand yourself, you need to be aware of yourself. Now the feelings of this guy, good. Keep it active, keep it alert, share your feelings with this guy if he's a good friend of yours, tell him how you feel, see how does he respond. But the thing I want you to be aware of is that you're emotionally not stable, you're emotionally not strong. Uh, and I want you to be aware of the fact that maybe he will uh, dump you, maybe he will be rude to you, maybe he will break your heart, maybe he'll say something that might really hurt you. So I want you to keep this fact in mind that maybe he'll not respond to you in the right way and be mentally prepared. If he rejects you, what do you do next? I want you to be aware of that and that would help you become uh, a much more stronger person. So she says, thanks. Lots of love. Uh, in short, this is my nickname. Okay, whatever. So I hope this answers your question, my dear. Um, I appreciate the fact that you took the courage of sharing these um, problems with me or these challenges. For now, what I would recommend is focus on your career. Make sure that you are an independent woman, that you're earning maybe 10,000 US dollars per month, 20,000, 30,000 US dollars per month, that you have an amazing educational portfolio, that you have amazing professional expertise so that you can become a high class executive if that is your passion. You can travel the world, you can live independently and you can do whatever you want. Date whoever you like, meet whoever you like, live the life that you dreamed of. So this is what I would say and this is the suggestion I would give. If you have anything else, feel free to send me an email, lloydloydmesida.com. I hope this answers your question. Goodbye. For you.